This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit blah 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 blah. By playing Doggy Doggy Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent that to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Uh, you heard it guys, if you can handle this video, then click away. I recommend it too, because I know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Doki Doki Litter Club. Now, as I said, I know what's gonna happen already. But to be honest, I haven't actually played it before. So I just wanna, you know, I wanna re-experience because I've actually watched a gameplay of this last year and I've already forgotten a few things here and there so I want to jump in it again with you guys so if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe hit that bell notification and let's get started please enter your name let's just go with Sabre why not I don't need to go too crazy <coughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Siari, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'll never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I would feel better off running away. Well, that's a dick move, isn't it? However, I just sigh an idol in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. HA! <laughs> I'm such a good voice actress. I have myself a gun! But I got you this time! Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Okay, I can't do that voice, that's kinda annoying. Eh, you just say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Zebra. Well, if people stare at you if are acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have any need to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Eh hey. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Saber, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really in the, uh, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I can't read. I may have been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. In one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time in games in anime. Hey, that's what I do. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a neat is, it's probably a lazy bomb just staying home and not being employed, I guess. I don't know the uh, exact... Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I promise you that. Yeah! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm, su I'm surprised I even let myself run to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. And where's school? <laughs> the school days as ordinary as ever is over for- That's not true! In fucking school, I die every day. <laughs> well, not really, but you know, it's fucking boring. <laughs> Sorry about that. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. 
I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. If only there was one in our school. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I would catch you coming out of the classroom but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Honestly, you have been worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going uh if it's going to make you late for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh? Mini. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. Blah. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. That's nice. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Oh, I opened my window, sorry. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Ah, uh, don't do that, please. <laughs> hey, don't make promises you can keep. I can tell if Sayori if it's really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yeah, let's go! And teleport. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Whoosh! Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, but, <laughs> Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Hey, that's fucking sexist. Ah, Sabre. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Dot dot dot. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry. Natsuki. Ah, Ugh. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes you think she's probably the first year. Here's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well it's nice to meet you both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That is right. It's great to see you again, Sabre. Monica smiles sweetly, that's a weird pose, no one does that. <laughs> we do know each other, well we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. There's a what? Anyways, come sit down, Sabre. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Okay. Yo guys, I'll just sit down here doing nothing. <laughs> the girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sarah mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. 
Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ah! Natsuki lifts the foils off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. If only I could see them. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Kawaii! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Heh, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Oishi. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Well, that was quick. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her slicking glances in my direction. She waiting for me to take a bite? Isn't it obvious you fucking need it? I finally bite down. Yum. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. It's really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Oh, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Have I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. Oh, I see. The sundry. Sundry attitude, you know. <laughs> eh? I thought you technically did. Sayuri so said, well, maybe, but not for you, you know, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. That's cool. They had a fucking closet in a classroom. All they had was uh, <laughs> well, a classroom. That's what we had. <laughs> no closet, just the classroom. After all, doesn't a hot tea, uh, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot she's a nerd. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was dragged. I was afraid of discussion. Tanti tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sari. I just tell her. She'll be fine. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sari seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debut club last year? Debate! I- How did I read the view? <laughs> it's debate club! <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can stand off the politics around the major clubs. I'm becoming blind, dudes. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I would much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it it purges order to get into the literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. They're holding hands. Look down there. <laughs> Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it comes, uh, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you are both fun and worthwhile. When it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. 
everyone enthusiastic. Eh, what? How do you fucking read that? Enthusiastically, regular. Okay, <laughs> I didn't learn that much in English class. Yeah, <laughs> such different girls are interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member journey. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Sabre, what kind of things do you like to read? I don't read that much other than this game. <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I haven't even actually read any manga other than Nisekoi, my favorite anime of all time. Okay. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she see she keeps quiet. SAY IT! Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I'll just smile with this. Okay, whatever. I won't question it. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walk in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in a world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. The stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah, I read the horror. I read the horror book once. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with the Rock. You mean the Rock? As in Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? <laughs> well, I just. Natsuki's eyes start over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Ooh! <laughs> Looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud! Then give that back. Fine, fine. Eh, your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is, is just as good as you are. Sari sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. They're not under her shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. <laughs> What's with that weird intonation I just did? You have writing experience, do you, Yuri? Maybe you'll share some of your work. You can send an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Da da da. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, I went to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Da 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 question mark. Natsuki and Yuri looks quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, that, that, that. 
Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sabri? Marika smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bloodly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Terry may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh shit. But, I'm sorry, I thought. Huff, <laughs> Sabre, you, you all, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing points is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Well, technically I did, but you guys persuaded me. So, yeah. Then, that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sabre, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hey! Yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica in my mediocre writing skills? I already feel bad that uh, uh what? I already feel the anxiety rolling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Siri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Sabre, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in your literature club? Perhaps I had the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make the most out of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess it starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Well, I'm gonna be leaving the episode there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and let me know in the comments if you want me to do another episode. See you guys till next time.